Hello all, and welcome to day 11 of Contingency Contract Season 7, Pine Suit, and welcome back to Abandoned Plot. This time it's week 2 of Abandoned Plot, and they're giving us a minus 50% attack risk on the risk 3. That's gonna be very very difficult alongside the other risks that they chose to put. They gave everyone more HP, they gave the target tiers 100% HP as well, so it, given the multiplicative nature of the tax, it's 3.4 times their HP, 44,000 HP to keep deal with today. Guard and defenders are also triple and DP2 down today, alongside a uh, squad size of 8. We're gonna use 8 operators, we're gonna use Schwartz, Suzeran, Aya Fiatla, Angelina, Backpipe, Myrtle as well as Kelsey, and we borrow a flame tail. Alright, let's go. So today's map is going to be really really tough in the light of not being able to deal damage. Everyone is half attack. Everyone's base attack is deleted. So we open Myrtle at the entrance right in the top center of the map. Then followed by Flametail. Right, as soon as Flametail comes up we pop her. Angelina is dropped, Backpipe is dropped, Myrtle will pop her skill again, then we use Angelina's skill again, as, as soon as it's up. Drop Kelsey facing up. Now the reason why I brought Kelsey is because Monster provides a very very tanky source of taunt in a way, because I can always redeploy Monster, and I'm gonna use Monster skill again here. Because we base it down to deal with that shield guard at the bottom, which I think is more important since Flame Tail has dodge and Backpack doesn't drop Suzuran and Aya respectively at their places. Use Angelina's skill to get rid of the drones and do some damage to the shield guards. Now we pop Suzuran's skill because the drone is already out. And we're gonna drop Schwartz right in the middle tower. We're gonna use a combination of Aya's skill and Schwartz's skill to try to delete the drone. So uh, you can see Aya is taking damage. But we'll drop monster so that we can draw the aggro away. And right now, let's let Schwartz and Aya do their thing. But Aya is focusing more on the mobs right now. Okay, pop Angelina. So that her skill cycle is very very honest. Now we're gonna take away the drone with the combination of all three of monster, Schwartz and Aya. The monster's explosion actually deals damage to area units as well. A nice added bonus. At this point, monster is gonna be dropped down at the bottom left to spawn camp the Gorilla Herald that's to come out later on. As you can see, Flame Tail is doing very very well against the enemy. She also has physical dodge, and when the skill is up, it's 80%. And there, we spawn camp the bottom left alongside Suzuran's slow and Aya's gonna pop the skill for that uh, the drone wave. You would think I'll save that for the other drone wave later, but it's not really needed. Okay, Flame Tail's dodge if essentially is 84% when the skill is up. When you have a max pot Flame Tail, like the one that I borrowed is max pot apparently. Alright, we drop monster. Now that monster is up, right in the range of the shield guard, and that just just in case Flame Tail does pop, we pop Angelina as well. Do you think Angelina will come back in time? I think she actually will, because Suzuran is on the field, therefore Suzuran will allow see Angelina to come back up just in time to get rid of the final drones. I'll just take out Myrtle because there's no need for Myrtle to be there. AS skill is up. We can just pop AS skill and finish the map. So there you have it. Today's map was very very tough, but Good luck to all of you still doing it. I hope everyone enjoyed the run. Tomorrow is going to be in an even worse daily. We're going back to Arena 8, the dreaded Arena 8. So see you guys. Bye-bye. Uh,